This is a fifth order linear differential equation with constant coefficients, and it happens to be homogeneous because it's equal to zero. Let's go ahead and solve it. All we have to do is write down the characteristic equation and then find the roots. So here we have a fifth derivative. So we write down m to the fifth power. Then we have the plus sign, and then we still have the six. Here we have the fourth derivative of y, so it's m to the fourth power, minus two, and then m cubed. That's because we have a third derivative, minus 12. Uh, looks like the second derivative is gonna go here. Here we have the first derivative, so we have m. And then here, there is just a y, so we put a six. So you see, whenever you have the fifth derivative, you raise m to the fifth power. Uh, if you have the fourth derivative, you raise m to the fourth power, third derivative, third power, second derivative, second power, first derivative, first power, and the zeroth derivative, you raise m to the zero power, which is one, if you want to think of it that way. We have to try to factor this. It looks like we can try factor by grouping. So we're going to pull out something here, pull out something here, and pull out something here. Looks like here we can pull out m to the fourth. And so we're left with m plus six. So hopefully we get m plus sixes everywhere else. So here we can pull out a negative two m squared. And again, we're left with m plus six, success. And here we can pull out a one. So plus one and then m plus six. So now we'll factor out m plus six, but we're gonna pull this out. And I'll factor it out and I'll write it on the right hand side. So it's gonna be m to the fourth minus two m squared plus one. It's all being multiplied on the right by m plus six. And this is equal to zero. And you can check this, you can multiply m plus six times m to the fourth. That's this first piece here m plus 6 times negative 2m squared, that's the second piece here, and then m plus 6 times 1, that's the last piece here. So everything looks okay. This factors further. This is actually m squared minus 1 times m squared minus 1. And then we still have the m plus 6, and this is equal to 0. How did I do that? I guess I'm just used to the form. If you have something like x squared minus 2x plus, plus 1, I just know that that is x minus 1 squared, just from doing it uh, lots of times. Here we had the difference of squares twice. So it's m minus 1, m plus 1. That takes care of this piece. And then we have to do it again for this guy. So m minus 1, and then m plus 1. And then we still have the m plus 6. It's really, really important to now group everything together. Uh, because we're really interested in the multiplicity of the roots. So we have m minus 1, m minus 1, so that's going to be m minus 1 squared. Then we have m plus 1, m plus 1, so that'll be m plus 1 squared. And then here we have m plus 6, and this whole thing is equal to 0. So we end up with a couple different roots. We end up with m equals 1, and the multiplicity of this root is two. It's the number of times that m minus one appears in the equation. And then we end up with m equals negative one, and again, the multiplicity is two. So multiplicity two. And finally, from this guy here, we get m equals negative six, and the multiplicity is one. And so now we're ready to actually go ahead and write the answer down. So let's do that. So y is equal to, first let's work with this one. So it's gonna be C1, E to the, and then M times X. So here M is one, so it's just X. But the multiplicity is two, so we have to write it one more time and attach the X. So that takes care of this guy here. Now let's work with this one. So it's gonna be plus C3, E to the negative one times X. So simply negative X. But the multiplicity is 2, so we have to do it one more time. So plus c4, x, e to the negative x. And if the multiplicity was 3, the next term would be c5, x squared, e to the negative x. And if the multiplicity was 4, we would also have to add c6, x cubed, e to the negative x, etc. 
And the last one is negative 6. It's hard to read. This is plus C5, and then it's E to the negative 6X. And the multiplicity is 1, so we're good to go. And that's it.